everyone, my name's Emma. Today we are talking about two movies that I grew up watching, Aquamarine and A Cinderella Story. When it comes to choices and decisions, the ones that we make with more intention will help us create the world that we want to live in. So we talk about here on this channel, how can we take lessons from everything that we've done in life and apply them to create the world that we want to live in. Aquamarine and A Cinderella Story are two sh movies that I watched growing up and really enjoyed thoroughly. I loved the mermaid from Aquamarine and A Cinderella Story is just one of those movies that kids grow up and just love because of the fairy tales. But there was a few different parts of both of those movies that talked about how the climate is changing and how the oceans are being affected. And last time we talked about sea spiracy and what I learned growing up with these movies probably did to some extent project me into this idea of learning about the world that we live in and caring about it. In Aquamarine, there's this huge storm at the beginning of the movie and a mermaid gets washed up and she is found in a pool by these two girls. They're about to be separated. One is about to move to Australia because the mom is a marine biologist and for the past 10 years, she's been working on cleaning up the bay. And at one point, they tell this to the mermaid that they're cleaning up the ocean, or at least that that's what her mom does. And the mermaid says, yeah, I could feel the difference in the waters from 10 years ago when it was a lot dirtier. And that brings me to a very important point that sometimes we don't even understand to the extent that our decisions affect people. And that even if we think that our jobs may not be as important, if it is to help clean the environment or if we're making choices to reduce our impact on the environment, we aren't even aware of how that does positively affect the places that we are trying to help. So when she says, yeah, I mean, the water is cleaner, and this is maybe like five seconds in the whole film, but it really stuck out to me and I was like, wow, we can't go and ask the animals what's going on. I'm sure they would probably tell us that we need to stop what we're doing and to keep trying to help, but if the animals could talk, if we could go and talk to the mermaids, we would probably realize, hey, we are really affecting the homes of these animals, of these creatures that live there. And it was just a very important and valuable point. And then in A Cinderella Story, the first few minutes of that movie as well, there's a drought happening in California. And the evil stepmother she says, I want to turn the water on because I want to have a nice green grass. And the main character, she says, no, we're in a drought. We all have to preserve our water and make sure that we're not using it up. And then you see this shot where they're going out and there's just that green lawn of that house and then every other house has an extremely dry lawn in front of there and so it shows this solidarity and throughout the entire movie the stepmother is portrayed as an evil character where she only cares about herself does not care about the stepdaughters doesn't really even care that much about her daughters and it shows that like somebody who only cares about themselves is the person who's only going to think about themselves and do whatever they want with the water and the resources that they have, even if everybody else is trying to pitch in and do better. And that is a big theme throughout the rest of the movie. The main character, she is the one who has to deal with the evil stepmother, the sisters doing all this work, being the outcast in school. And then at one point she decides to stand up for herself and she has a lot of people that follow her and that they were in that same job that she was in because she was there and they wanted to protect her. So she was able to stand up for herself and she was like, you know what, I'm not doing this anymore. She leaves her stepmother and then she finds a contract that was signed by her and her father, by the stepmother and her father. And she finds out that actually everything it belongs to her and the movie ends that way. And then she ends up telling the boy in the school that she's in love with saying like, you know what, I'm not waiting for you. It's pointless, like waiting for a rain in this desert. And then all of a sudden, you know, she gets the guy and it starts raining. And I think that that is a very important point because of where we started off with a Cinderella story where she is saying, you know, we have to conserve 
water because of this drought. We have to take care of one another. And then at the end, when she is finally stepping into her own, doing the things that she needs to do for herself, which in, in turn creates an environment that other people say, you know what, I want to do certain things too, and this isn't what I want to do. And they all come together, and then the rain finally does come. So when we start to care about how we affect ourselves and how that portrays to other people, if we choose what's best for ourselves, other people start to choose that, and then we will start to get the results that we want to see. Now that may or may not be one of the main points that a Cinderella story wanted to come across with, but it is a very important and valuable one that every decision that we make affects a lot of people and that we need to be aware of how our decisions affect us and how they have others affect decisions that they also make and that our words are very powerful and that they matter and our actions are very powerful and when we take actions in the right direction to create the outcome that we want we can end up having that outcome as long as we are persistent and understand the value of it so in aquamarine we learned that the mermaid was very happy that she was able to live in a better environment and the mom never knew about the mermaid she just wanted to be a marine biologist and to help clean up the environment and there's a lot of positive outcomes to making better choices for ourselves and those around us and benefits that we will never even know about we can't go and ask the animals that have had their habitats restored how they feel about it you know how they were hurt by it but we can understand the suffering that we're inflicting if we are ignoring the impact of our choices and our decisions. And both characters in both movies, both the mermaid and the main character in a Cinderella story, they realized that their decisions actually affect others and that every other character in those movies were also affected by the decisions that were made by other characters. And that's really how our lives work too. The people that we keep around us affect how we make decisions and the decisions that we make affect others as well, directly, indirectly, and otherwise. But if we become more aware of how our choices are impacting others and trying to adjust our choices and decisions based off of the potential outcome of them, of course, not until we make a decision will we know the full consequences of them, but we can usually predict what is better and what is not. And if at the end of the day that ended up not being the right decision, we can always choose to continue to pivot and to say, you know what, this didn't really work. Let me try it this way. And the world will be a better place for it. You will be in a better place emotionally, physically. And because of that, we will end up creating that world that we want to see. And every day, we can live out the hope that we want to see a better world through the actions that we take and how we interact with ourselves and the world around us. So even back when we were younger, we were learning important lessons and we were learning that the choices we make matter. And when we decide to stand up for ourselves, other people decide that as well. And we may even get the world that we want if we choose to create it. And it all begins with a choice. So I hope you enjoyed going down this little path of looking back at childhood. Both of these movies are on YouTube, so I'll put those links down below that you can go and watch them, rewatch them, enjoy. There's so many lessons to be learned from every show that we watch, every movie. There's so much intention put into every movie and show, and we need to continue to put that sort of intention into our lives and every choice that we make and every step that we take. I will see you soon, but until then, have an amazing day.